Yo, BJ Ghidorah with The Daily BJ. Here's an awesome bodyweight circuit. The workout description is in the description of the video. Here are the moves. We're gonna start with a side plank with a little bit of what I call the leg dangle action. I don't know what to call it. Side plank, leg dangle. So you're gonna put one, top leg is elevated, really working the adductors. I always like to have built-in warm-ups into my workout so that if you're short on time, don't have a lot of time, let's activate the hip, shoulders, core, mobilize key areas, get to work right away. So top leg is gonna be placed like this, inner thigh. Suzanne Summers ain't got shit on this movement, all right? So lock it in, elbow aligned with shoulder, fist like this aligned with elbow, make an ice pick into the ground, lift, keep that leg straight, tense the quad, actively push the inside of the foot into the box, and then we're gonna basically, from that position, reach forward, reach back, like we're leaning back against an imaginary wall or standing on our side, adding that translation, so good for the core, so good for the inner thigh, which is a really key stabilizer for back health, all right? Next movement, next, okay? Box jump to step down. Now, this is not about how high you can get the box. One of the things that I hated about working at Men's Health is we had a lot of people that worked there that thought they were impressing people by jumping onto progressively higher boxes. They weren't showing anything about their power. They were just showing how deep they could squat down into a landing. It's not about that. The box is supposed to be high enough to allow you to dissipate landing forces, not to do some sort of freak circus show, all right? So I'm going to load the hips. Notice how my thumbs turn out like this, flat back, head in line with spine. And they can explosively extend through the ankles, knees, and hips. Land soft like this. Check it out. Come to the side. Enjoy that view. That's a free view. All right. So I'm locked in. Linebacker shortstop position. I got my bends. Thumbs are up, kind of externally rotated shoulder position. And then instead of jumping down and risking Achilles rupture, I'm going to slowly step down and control. Jump. And then the other leg. So I get a little eccentric control on the lowering single leg strength, eccentric control and stability. And then I get total body power on the way up without the joint forces. Yay! Okay, from there, we got plank shoulder taps, all right? So I'm gonna get my feet elevated. If this is too hard, just do it with the feet on the floor. But I'm piking, all right? Shoulder. And don't go fast, own it. You gotta shift the weight all the way to one side. So good for smoking the shoulders. We also get some hip and hamstring mobility going here as well. All right, nice dismount. Next movement, you'll do full set on each side and then switch. Skater jump to crossover step up. Great lateral frontal plane movement for getting you out of those uh, traditional up down front back planes. Great for athleticism performance. I'm gonna skater jump this way, spread the arms across the body, land soft, push back, outside leg, steps over, come right through, step down, right into the next skater jump. Blending power and agility with a classic strength movement. All right, got to get the arms reaching, skate, cross over, step up. Thank me later for that movement, all right? Next movement, we got elevated donkey kick to push up. If you can't do the push up, just do the elevated donkey kick. Get close enough to the box in the bear crawl position. So when we kick up, we're here. Add the push, elbows 30 to 45 degrees away from the trunk, straight line, head through heels, back down. Up, push, back down. Keep repeating that pattern, it'll melt your face off, okay? Final movement, this one's a lot of fun. Again, mixing power, strength, coordination, step up to reverse lunge plus split switch. So, step up, opposite arm, leg kind of reciprocal running action pattern, come right through, I'm stepping down, back into a reverse lunge. Now, switch, to go back to the original leg, step right through. So step back, reverse lunge, split switch each side, get back to that original leg, come through. Let's do a side view, please. See where the leg position is. So, legs are relatively at 90 degree angles, coming right through, step, suck it. Enjoy that workout, subscribe to my channel, and join the dailybj.com for more minimal equipment workouts you can do at home or take to the gym, burn fat anytime, anywhere. Love you guys, peace.